All right, guys, it's Nick Russo. I am putting a quick video together based upon a question I had, and that was the ability in AutoCapture to conditionally either use the original file name that was used in the file that's being uploaded or to use um, a file name that a person would enter in. And maybe it's not the file name, maybe it's some other document type. All right, so a person can override the file name or he can use the original file name of the attached file. This video is going to be a quick one. Um, I'm going to make this simple because I'm only going to pretend I'm using one file. If it was more than one file, this would get a little bit more complicated, but almost all auto capture workflows are only one file. So in this example, if I don't put a file name here and I hit submit, what I'm expecting um, to happen is that the file will go to the output folder destination here, output, which should happen in just a few seconds, with the word hello. And sure enough, that worked perfectly. Now, if I were to go in here and I change this to ABC, I want it to now be overridden. <clears throat> Instead of using hello, it should say ABC. I shouldn't have said overridden, but I, I mean, use ABC instead. And that worked perfectly, right? Now, if I, again, if I just do this, I think I had the setting to append an underscore one or just a one in case um, there was a duplicate. Oh, there we go, number two, okay? All right, so what's happening here? So, first off, um, like any good auto store workflow, you should be using knowledge package files. Check out my other YouTube video on how to do that. Um, it just makes your life so much easier when you want to scale this out, etc. And it's really easy to do. Uh, so in here, I have a field for file name. I'm putting the um, file name field into my knowledge package file as file name, which means when I go into my knowledge package file here, I um, I now will have access to this ASX variable. Um, now, what, however, what I'm doing here, let me go back in here. So in my send to folder here, I'm not using my ASX. I'm using a custom uh, RRT called USR, and I can call it whatever I want, but generally custom URT, RRTs, I call USR for user, so user-generated file name. So what happens here? Well, I'm using VB script, which I love to do. And in VB script, I'm passing in that ASX file name into a field called file name, which means it's going to be available to me in VB script. So I went through that pretty, pretty quickly. Let me show you again. So going into knowledge package loader, components, VB script, configure. Here's my script file. Before I go into my script file, I'm mapping in a file name or a field, sorry to the file name um, variable. And now in my script itself, it's a pretty simple script. You'll see the script over and over again, these same lines of code in a lot of my examples. So the first thing I do is I'm gonna output to status monitor what that variable was that I mapped in that previous step and under fields. So I should be able to see it. So if I type in a name like ABC, it should output here ABC. I don't type in a file name or for um, it'll be blank except blanks are considered null values which means that instead of it actually being blank it'll actually be what that default null value is it's a really weird thing in auto store but it is what it is so instead of a blank I'll be getting this ASX which means it's a blank okay so I'm outputting that to the status monitor these next few lines of code are in a lot of my scripts. This is just getting access to the first document in my list of documents. And what I'm checking here is, is if file name is blank, which means that this will be in there. What, I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new RRT called file name with the original file name. And I get the original file name up here. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically getting access to the temporary file. What's the file name of that temporary file? and I set that here. Now if this is not blank, then I'm going to use the value that's um, being passed in. So what this looks like, and I'll open up Status Monitor as we go through this process, I'm going to delete these samples here, keep Auto Capture open here, and open Status Monitor here. Oops, that didn't quite work out. Let's do this, move this over, move this maybe a little bit up. All right, here we go. So if I type in ABC and I hit submit, you should see here pop in here in just a second. 
three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so you can see in Status Monitor in VB Script, it indeed said file name ABC. My original file name was still low, but because this wasn't blank, or more specifically didn't have the words ASX, blah, blah, blah in there, I used the hello, I used the ABC, and that's indeed what was outputted as ABC. If I get rid of this, so I leave it blank, I hit Submit, I go through this process again, in Status Monitor now, you'll see file name is blank, which is really ASX blah blah blah. Original file name was hello, so because this is this blank value or default value, I will go use hello, and sure enough, that's what happens here. All right, so I hope this script helps out. If you have any questions or ideas, please contact me at uh, through chat is the best way through YouTube, or you could email me at info at Thanks a lot. All right, bye.